Yes. Great. Okay. So the next song is going to be Ugh. Or how do you say this? Ugh. <laughs> Will that be what we think of it? We'll see. Yeah. Or was it, is it going to be Ugh? <laughs> Be, you can't make that sound good. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? <laughs> which is which is how I would. Ugh. So what do you think of this song? It was very ugh. It was very ugh. Okay, so we shall see. Yes. Okay, one, two, three. Rippity rap 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 Woo. time. Woo. Okay. <laughs> cypher, cypher style. Okay. I formed my opinion already. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what, what, what is he saying? Oh my god! Talk about poop. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god! <laughs> I wonder, like, you know, people who listen to say, oh, hip hop, hip hop, and but don't, don't look up the translations, they are like, what do they think this is about? Okay. Oh, they're pronouncing something completely different. Yeah, that's not how we say it. Oh. oh my. Oh my god. Not sure where to look. Bit too much auto tune again. Definitely. I like his talking voice. Jay Hope, lovely. Mm. Too much Scott Snap for me. Woo! It's interesting because Jay Hope is one of those people who just does these like you know lows and highs with his voice instead of like he's putting auto tune on it. So it sounds it... a lot better, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's to me instead of making it artificially high. As we say that, it goes to auto tune. Oh, <laughs> Usually it is. Usually it doesn't go to auto tune. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> I wonder how this is gonna look on camera. I'm just like. Hem, hem, a hem, a hem. So many weird words in this one. At least weird pronunciations. I mean, I am the one with weird pronunciations, so I feel them. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I'm never a fan of this squeaky stuff. No. Me neither. Gunshots. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Love me some of that crime. Yeah. <laughs> Love me some of that crime, what? Bit of that murder, love it. GTA, <laughs> GTA stuff. Yeah, 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 calm down, boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got very hype. Okay, this is actually the perfect one for GTA, to be fair, isn't it? Like this is GTA yeah. material. Uh, on the, on the, <laughs> yeah. So thoughts on gunning everyone down. <laughs> Uh, interesting. Uh, I mean, this is definitely not the peaceful message of, you know, against the violence. <laughs> you know, obviously, like, obviously it's just words and like, you know, words like bullets and stuff. But, um, okay, uh, do you want to start or should I start? Um, I can start. 
Okay. So, I really like the beat on this song. I think it's perfect for like a pass around rap thing. Yeah. But then once they started going, okay, okay, for like 10 minutes straight, I was so not in. I was okay. like immediately out of the song. And then they brought in the auto tune and all the squeaky stuff that Sugar does. And I just really wasn't feeling that. Oh, yeah. Like the first verse or so, like when they're, when they're like passing around before they get to the chorus, that was great. Yeah. But then it just all went immediately to part when they when they got to the okay. Okay. I think my take on this, uh, I have I have a very strong suspicion that this song is probably have also but plays a lot around with words and sounds that we are not getting. Fine example for that is Deng, which is from like even from the ciphers, which I all of the ciphers I really love, like the the top four ciphers. Um Deng was my favorite. Have you heard Deng? I think I have, but I can't remember it. I think Deng is, is, is I think it, it is the best out of these uh, type of songs. Um, it first of all is uses, uses a traditional melody and traditional instruments and stuff. And it just has a bunch of words played rhythmically is super, super cool and super interesting. Honestly, I think Deng is so good. It should have been like a second single. Hmm. Like, it's like, honestly, it, it is great it's just great it should be on award shows everybody would be you know um amazed but then for some reason they only did it on like a, a private fan event okay so enough of bang uh of which i love <laughs> but anyway so i have a feeling that like this could have potentially like double meanings or like it's a sound that like some Korean game, uh, very famous video game has that you're not getting, you know, so there could be some sort of, you know, joke on that. I really enjoyed the beginning because I think rhythmically a rapping was just so cool. And I, and I, yeah. I, and I just enjoy like these aspects of Korean language it's because it's wonderful for hip hop. Like, you know, no wonder that Korean hip hop and Korean R&B is so awesome. Like the language mm. is perfect for it. So I really enjoyed the beginning. Um, and I think it's, um, it was it was hype and i really enjoyed it because i like these type of songs but at the same time i think it, it almost stayed at a certain level so i was i wanted to yeah. have like you know just drop the instrumentals have like a call out or something of like you know stop and then bring it back hey da, 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 or anything so i think it was a bit flat for me yeah for not somebody, enough variation not enough variation and i'm saying this even though i like it because there has been so many great previous examples to this type of thing so i think the bar is set very high you know mm. with like i love i love myself like you know cypher part four i mean it is just a legend uh you know it's like so it's it's i think the bar is set very high um for rap songs but i think the other rap song on the on this album is something that i, I liked a bit more uh, but anyway, I think it, I think it was cool. It was one of those things that I think it would come up on a playlist uh, when we are like you know getting ready for a party and some people are having some drinks, pre-drinks, and people would be like, yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, with a beer in the air. Yeah, <laughs> well, like, you know, this is how I see this happening. Just like <laughs> with, you remember with with Shinwa Venus, I saw myself oh, yes. in a Korean club, just like kicking people away with you fist know, pumping. Yeah, with drinks in my hand, and I would be like, really? <laughs> spraying beer everywhere." <laughs> exactly. So this, this is this is similar for me. This is like, hey, eh, eh, eh. and just like I don't know, I only have a remote control <laughs> here, but like, yay, you get what I mean. So this is how I feel. I think it sets the mood for something very well, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not sure it's strong enough on its own. While some of the ciphers were strong enough on their own. Mm. So that's my take. <laughs> yeah, for me this is like a late night drive through the bad part of town. Oh, that is that is again sounds like that such an accurate up. description. <coughs> this other ghost like driving around looking over your yeah, shoulder. Yeah, and just like <laughs> I remember I only did that once in my life, uh, which was a very different situation <laughs> because it was like. Uh, Basically, I went to a religious high school and we needed to go to church Monday mornings. And I think I was in, hmm, not senior, but like a year younger. Anyway, so there was this guy who had a car and when he, and he was a senior, but he was a, he became a professional violinist. Nice. So basically what he did that, you know, he took us back to school after the church. <laughs> the, <laughs> no, this sounds super stupid. And then, he, and then we played like Bartok or, you know, 
or some sort of modern classical music and then we were just like <laughs> okay <laughs> almost as cool but like it was a very very sophisticated posh version um of playing classical music and yeah but yeah i think this is exactly driving to the bad part of town <laughs> when anything can happen <laughs> yes and then the gunshots start <laughs> mm. cool yeah. okay let's jump to the next song let's do that 